Welcome to our kitchen where you see us hanging out most of the time. Today we found our old card game, Couples Trivia. We bought these last Valentine's Day. But even though it's not Valentine's Day anymore, we thought we'd play it anyway. We've got a big day coming up. Comment down below what you think it could be. Love a man that cooks you breakfast oh. while editing. I love you too, even if I'm getting firm while ruining my own egg. <laughs> and there's a little cutie over there. My assistant. And here is the finished product. We well, kind of started already because Sophia was champing at the bit. So she's got scrambled egg, and the rest of us have got. Sunny side up eggs, toast or rice. Outfit of the day. We've got a pretty dress on and tights. <laughs> How am I supposed to finish editing? Okay, we're going. You know what they say? Cleaning with kids is like shoveling snow in a snowstorm. But I disagree. I think cleaning with kids and a husband is like shoveling snow in a snowstorm. And I'm the husband. Words from Selby J. Lunchtime, girlies. Have you been playing lots with Anthony now, Sophia? Have you been knocking down the building blocks that's supposed to go in that wooden shape box? <laughs> go for it. Okay, so we are just finished with lunch. Yeah, we are. And now Sophia is going to have a nap. The girls are cleaning. And I'm going to do more work. So, yeah. But first, nappy change. Always nappy change. Nice to be outside once in a while. Yeah. Internet's currently... Buggered. Not working properly. And I've spoken to my ISP and they've said that they're working on it for a couple of hours. So I've said to work, I can't do much while it's down. So we're gone for a walk, make use of the downtime before dinner. And Sophia is happy in her bush chair. How's your You're going to have a bath now, Sophia. I'll see you 
I'll see you tomorrow. Say good night. Night, night. Due to Sophia waking up while we were setting up our card game, we had to quick, not really quickly, we had to pause and obviously sort her out. But now we're back. And we have chosen five cards each to ask each other some couple questions. Shall we start? Mm -hmm. Rock, paper, scissors, we start first. Rock, paper, scissors. They get to go first. Okay. What is your funniest memory of me? Randomly went to Thorpe Park that day. It wasn't a funny situation. It was funny to me because... Making back? Yeah. Okay. Okay. My turn. Sure, you should explain it. You go on, your turn. Tell me something that I don't already know about you. Oh. Before my current job in IT, I'd never once considered working in IT, like ever. No, I'd, I'd never seen myself working with computers. No. I thought that's what you wanted to get into. No, and every day I regret making this choice, but uh, here we are. Pays the bills. My preferred job would be a uh, freestyle rapper. We <laughs> <No. laughs> can't even say that with a straight face. This face is perfectly straight. <laughs> Anyway, my question. <laughs> what would be the title of my autobiography? I honestly don't know. I don't read many books. <laughs> we'll go with that. I honestly don't know. Selby Justice. <laughs> my turn? Your turn. <laughs> You've got um, chocolate. What first attracted you to me? Oh. Like, this... the very first time we actually spoke to each other. I'm going to have to be really cheesy and say your voice. And it still gets me. Smile. <laughs> yeah, you know, that sweet dulcet <laughs> tone you used to lure sailors to their deaths. That's, that, that pulled me in. <laughs> this is so rude. <laughs> Siren's voice. That's where you go. Shall I go? Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> what is my best personality trait? Personality trait? Do, do you even have any? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Right, you're pretty funny. Okay. I'll take it. I mean, nothing about intelligence or how kind and generous I am. No, no, you're funny. <laughs> Great. I have the same quality bananas have. <laughs> What is my guilty pleasure? <laughs> Keep it PG. <laughs> PM me for the real answer. Your guilt, your guilty pleasure. It's got to be watching soap opera clips. Like she watches, like Hollyoaks and. All these clips from there, and I, I catch her, and she's always like, "No, I'm looking at, I'm looking at pornography." <laughs> you know, it, it's just that sort of mind-numbing stuff that people like to watch, which I fully, I, you know, understand because I, I enjoy watching rubbish too. So. You don't kill me, are you? <laughs> if you were at karaoke, what song would you dedicate to me? Oh God. Um, against all odds. I think it's like by Jim Brickman. Okay. What is the most romantic thing that I have ever done for you? You really want to know that? Yes. 
Um, well, it's really hard to choose from the saying no to when I proposed for... <laughs> most romantic thing you've done for me. As much as you love romance, you're not a romantic. You like to be romanced, but you don't do the whole be romantic thing. But then I'm pretty, you know, one to talk. Uh, most romantic thing you've done for me. Uh, okay, so the most romantic thing Rose has done for me it might not conform to normal standards of romance, but I went for a night out when we first started talking and, you know, being chatty. And I was very drunk. And she messaged me all night until I got home, uh, wanting me to let her know I was in safe. And I probably fell asleep when I got back to my flat. And uh, she stayed up all night messaging me, trying to get hold of me to see if I was okay, even though she had work the next next day. Which was very romantic and very sweet. But not so good for her, because she was not very happy with me. <laughs> for the 12 hour shift she worked while worked on something like four hours sleep. Bear in mind, he told me that he'd let me know when he gets home. Oh, it's all my fault, but it's still romantic. You've already guessed what this one is, because I've said it. How do I make you laugh? How do you make me laugh? Yeah. Mm, just by being you. <laughs> At least I know what I can do when I join the circus to get away from them. <laughs> No, but literally those are jokes. Oh, good. Quite a good one now. Sure. Why did the crab blush? Because the seaweed. Your jokes are so bad. <laughs> Not mine. Just joke books. You know, Christmas crackers. My turn. Your turn. What has brought us closer together? It's going to sound really cheesy and romantic, but time, the more time I get to spend with you, the closer I do feel with you. Uh, you know, marriage was something we did to, to show the world, to you know, let our feelings be you known to the world. But every day I get closer to you. That is all, folks. And we will see you all tomorrow. Bye bye. bye.